Hello and welcome to episode 4 of Let's Play Planet Coaster, the London Resort here on Theme Park Worldwide. In this episode, I'm going to be continuing on with the base camp themed area. This whole area of the park is based on dinosaur research. We've got various different attractions, including the two roller coasters I built back in episode 3. I'm going to be naming them also in this episode as well. And I'm also going to be working mostly on landscaping in this episode. Lots of trees, rocks, shrubbery, fencing, and lots of other theming to really start to bring this area to life even more. Uh, I really wanted to have a very dramatic landscape all the way around this area, uh, some brilliant terraforming with lots of different trees and rocks um, all the way throughout it. So yeah, uh, that's mainly what I'm going to be working on in this episode. But I'm starting off with this big building that you can see. Um, it's actually the station building for the junior coaster that we've got in the area and uh, also putting in some quick service food outlets just here as well. Uh, there's going to be four of those straight out the window service and just out onto the pathway here. Uh, there is also going to be a restaurant that I'm going to be building a little bit later on because uh, they have stated uh, that this area will feature quite a large restaurant and uh, yeah that's uh, something that I'm going to be putting in. Uh, to this area of the park um, but yeah as you can see I'm just working on the landscaping in between the buildings as well this area here um, is more going to have a tropical style terrain and you can see that with all of the palm trees and more tropical plants that we're going for and then uh, yeah a little bit further back in the rest of the area where the B&M wing coaster is that's more going to be um, a normal kind of forest um, around there so yeah it's quite a large area so I really wanted to vary it up when it came to how it looks um, with the trees and planting. I didn't want it to look all too similar. Um, and that's mainly because of the size of the area. Just wanted to make sure that there was some real nice differences um, throughout. But yeah, that's what we're doing here with some of the nice planting all the way around. Uh, this is what a big part of this episode is really, bringing the area more to life because obviously um, at the moment it just kind of looks like two coasters with not much else around. Um, but yeah, in this episode you're really going to start to see the area come to life. I'm also going to be working on the exterior of one of these show buildings that's actually going to be home to a dark ride in side but uh, yeah more about that a little bit later on of course we've got a couple of different vehicles going in just here and also some scaffolding towers. These will act as a real nice uh, near miss element when you're going round on the B&M wing coaster um, and that's the thing with a wing coaster you know it's all about um, making sure you've got some real nice close interactions for the ride and um, when riders are on there I really feel like they're going to hit into something you know that's a big part of rides like the swarm for example at Thorpe Park here in the UK and what really makes that is the fact that you've got all these near miss, miss, near -miss elements and head choppers and you know what that really just adds to the overall ride in my opinion. So yeah, I want to make sure we've got some of them around, even though, to be honest, the terrain itself, um, it works as a real good kind of near miss throughout this. Um, but yeah, I'm glad that you like the layout. I'm really pleased with it. And uh, yeah, it's come together really nicely. A very weird layout for a B&M wing coaster. Like I said in episode three, it's not really the kind of um, layout that I would go with normally, you know, especially um, building it real low to the ground, no massive inversions. Uh, as you can see there we need to add another couple of supports on that section of track but the good thing is with this game we can just do the customized supports and uh, yeah do that um, as we're building the area um, but yeah you know it's very different but um, it's coming together nicely some more kind of scaffolding towers just going in a lot of my theming that I put in to be honest it doesn't really have a purpose other than bringing the area more to life lots of random things going on and I've said this I've been playing this game for many years now since 2016 here on this channel and you all know my building style by now and I like just kind of adding little bits in because that is what really makes a lot of real theme parks that you go to it is some of the smaller details throughout the areas it's not always uh, not everything needs an explanation why it's there sometimes just having it there um, is really nice you know and just adds to the area when you're walking around it's more about exploration and seeing different things and especially with this being um, base camp with this kind of dinosaur theme I really wanted to uh, kind of yeah br bring that to life with this but yeah it's coming together nicely uh, anyway I'm going to talk now about the names for these two roller coasters starting off with the junior coaster and then we will go on to the wing coaster so yes lots of absolutely amazing suggestions which is brilliant so thank you so much I've gone for uh, Matthew Allison's 
uh, name for this one for the family coaster. It's Raptor Rampage. I just really liked that for a family coaster. Not too complicated. Uh, so thanks for that, Matthew. Take a wild adventure into the forest on the hunt for a pack of raptors. So yes, I'm going to add some raptor animatronics um, around that coaster. Uh, probably in the next episode, I'll be working on that as we're kind of working on hopefully the finishing touches um, for this base camp area. Uh, it's a big area of the park, so it might span into another episode, um, but hopefully we'll be able to uh, be wrapping up this area and moving on to the next one. Um, in episode 5 of the series. Uh, but yes, right, the wing coaster, what have I gone for? Well, again, lots of absolutely amazing suggestions, uh, but I've gone for something a little bit different because the ride's quite different, isn't it? Uh, so thanks to Colin Eliza Magic for this one. It's Prehistoric Rage, and I really liked the storyline for this one, and the name, you know, Prehistoric Rage, just something a little bit different. And instead of actually naming it um, straight after the dinosaur, let's, uh, let's uh, go for something a little bit different. However, you are actually on the dinosaur. You're on a pterodactyl just here. So after the pterodactyl studies goes wrong in the lab, a vicious pterodactyl is set free in the walls of the lab. The scientists are shocked by this and head out to try and get the pterodactyl back into the lab. After multiple failed attempts, the pterodactyl ends up crashing violently back into the lab. So yeah, that's the theme we've gone for. And what I really liked with that is how the storyline utilizes the building perfectly that I, that I actually did as well. Um, because you've got to think you're launching out of the building, which can be the lab. Um, up into that first inversion. The first section of the ride, swooping underground through tunnels into that second section, then back again before, of course, crashing it violently into the lab. I mean, that perfectly fits the design of the coaster that I built. So, yeah, I really liked that. So, thank you, Colin, for that one. Um, Prehistoric Rage, a brilliant name for the wing coaster. So, yeah, I'm very pleased. Two very different names for two uh, very different rides. Prehistoric Rage and Raptor Rampage um, as part of the base camp themed area. So, once again, thank Thank you very much to everyone that took the time to comment with names and uh, suggestions for the theme. Uh, I really do appreciate that. The storyline is a really important part of the rides that I put into Planet Coaster and you are all brilliant. So thank you so much for that one. Now, I'm not actually going to be building this dark ride in this episode. However, I'm going to be working on the exterior uh, just because I wanted to kind of see how it was going to look and, uh, yeah, fit in with the overall look of the area. So that's what I'm going on with here. Yeah, I'm just uh, putting in like a bit of a glass panel roof in places. We're going for this more modern style because, again, this overall area um, is about dinosaurs, but uh, I'm not really putting loads of dinosaurs around in the area. Yes, there's going to be a few raptors, um, of course over on Raptor Rampage and uh, there's going to be a couple of statues out the front of the dark ride but most of the action when it comes to animatronic dinosaurs is going to be in this ride itself. Now as you can see, we're going with this kind of covered over queue line. Uh, as I mentioned a few episodes back, um, I really wanted to make sure that um, we've got a lot of covered over queue lines and interior queuing areas because this is a part that, uh, yeah, is proposed for uh, Kent, you know, here in the UK, the London Resort. So, um, yeah, it needs to have a lot of covered over areas because of our poor weather uh, that we have in this country. Um, so yeah, we're working on this kind of scaffolding structure uh, that's going out the front. Quite a modern kind of feel. I wanted to kind of have it looking a little bit like you might expect from Jurassic World, but not too similar either because it's more um, exploration. It's not kind of based on a theme park with dinosaurs um, like Jurassic Park and Jurassic World. Um, with this, it's completely different to that. Um, so I thought, let's save all the dinosaur action for on this dark ride. So you can see the ride system we're going for. It's another trackless dark ride, but we're using a different vehicle for this one. And uh, yeah, I really want you guys to come up with the name and the storyline because I'm actually going to build this dark ride based on your storyline and name, which is really different to me because normally I build the dark ride first and then ask you all to come up with the kind of name and storyline. We're doing it different. That is all you're getting. So you've seen the facade. It's kind of like another lab, another research facility. And uh, yeah, I'm going to need a name and uh, a, a storyline. I'm going to actually build the dark ride to your specification, to your storyline. So bear in mind, the show building isn't absolutely massive. It's only going to be a few minutes long, this dark ride. Um, but yeah, get your suggestions coming in. Something that I'm doing very different with this episode is because you can't actually get dinosaurs or dinosaur scenery in the game. I've actually gone into the workshop for these and uh, found these absolutely brilliant dinosaurs. There's quite a few. I mean, these ones are just static. 
like, but there's some animatronic ones as well. And that's the beauty of the workshop. I mean, I always upload my parks into the workshop afterwards. This one will be the same. So you can play about with it, you can delete bits, you can add your own inspiration in. Um, but yeah, I actually found these dinosaurs. This is the first time in all the years I've been playing um, and of course building these parks here on Theme Park Worldwide that I've actually used something out of the workshop uh, that's not my own to put into the park. And that's because these dinosaurs that have been made are absolutely brilliant. It always surprises me to be honest that Planet Coaster never put any uh, dinosaurs in, but uh, there we go, it is what it is. So yeah, we've put them statues out the front. The building's coming on nicely. We've got a toilet block outside there and uh, putting some little lights around the side of them just there as well so yes that's all for the dark ride um, i'm leaving it up to you i'm going to be building it in the next episode which will be number five blimey i can't believe it already because i've been doing two episodes a week um then yeah it's really um, been coming together quick this park hasn't it but uh, that's what i wanted it's coming together nicely and i'm uh, really pleased with it so yeah in the next episode you can look forward to me doing this dark ride and also finishing off the interior of the coaster station and a couple of other bits uh, that you're going to see in the next few minutes as well that I'll be uh, finishing off in episode five. So yeah, looking forward to reading all of your name suggestions and most importantly, a storyline. Bear in mind, it looks like some kind of research facility on the outside. Um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to uh, seeing exactly what you come up with for this one. Um, now I'm just adding some more details over onto Raptor Rampage, which is the station there. Kind of gone for this black and grey colour scheme for a lot of this area. Um, I don't know if that's because of Jurassic World and that's kind of the colour scheme, but I just quite liked uh, that and I thought, let's go for it. I wanted to make this building look a little bit more scientific, like it's kind of, um, you know, a base, a research area, because that's the whole idea of base camp just here. You know, it is this research facility. Um, there's not just dinosaurs walking around absolutely everywhere. It's more about the landscaping and making it look really nice. Um, all the kind of high fences keeping the dinosaurs in and all that kind of stuff. That's what the dart ride um, is going to be about. So bear that in mind when you're coming up with the storyline for that one. Um, but yeah, I'm really pleased just with the little details being added on here. I didn't want it to look too sci-fi and futuristic. Obviously, I am using the sci-fi scenery pieces in the game here. Um, but yeah, I wanted it to just look right, you know, not too OTT, because we are going to be having a little sci-fi area, um, which is going to be coming up uh, in, in a few episodes' time, so stay tuned for that. Now, in terms of other rides for this area, I couldn't really see much in terms of flat rides and obviously for an area to be successful in my opinion you need to have a good variety of attractions um, there was a couple of bits that looked like zip wires and stuff obviously we can't get them in the game so I thought let's add a couple of supporting flat rides in we've got two coasters there's going to be a dart ride let's add in a couple of flat rides um, into this area as well but uh, hold off on the name for them ones um, we'll uh, get them themed up because there's going to be some very heavy theming around the wave swinger and the swinging inverter that we've gone for there and uh, yeah, hold off on the names um, because I'll be asking for those in the next episode. Just focus for now on the dark ride and the storyline and the name for that one. Uh, just working on the queue line just here now to the wing coaster, uh, prehistoric rage, just making sure that all that is ready for theming to go in. And again, I'll be completing that in the next episode. And just here now, I'm working on that large restaurant that's going to be uh, just on the waterfront just there. And uh, yeah, also a nice big interior seating area there as well, undercover um, food area. Because you've got to think, again, with this park being based in the UK, we need to make sure they've got lots of undercover areas for our terrible weather. Or should I say, normally um, terrible um, weather. But yeah, we're going for some uh, different styles with this building. Instead of just a square, we've got the circular towers over on either side, just over there. And uh, yeah, putting on the middle section, of course, we're going to have all sorts of different food available inside there. Kind of set up like a restaurant um, in quite a nice location. You probably also noticed I've kind of done this off camera because it would be a bit boring just watching me place tree after tree. But I've actually really started to build up the trees around this area now, kind of on the outskirts as well. So you can really now get a, an idea on the shape. And when I zoom out every so often, you'll just see now more trees and you're just getting the idea of the shape now of this left hand side of the park um, because I'm really pleased with it. I think, you know, when you look at the concepts art, 
It's really starting to look similar to it now. And yes, it's got my inspiration, my touch on it. However, um, you know, considering we've not got loads to go off and a lot of the concept art kind of changes um, for the London Resort on a regular basis, you know, I don't think I'm doing too bad. I'm quite pleased with how it's coming together. And it's really nice reading all of the comments, literally hundreds of comments on every episode, which is amazing. Thank you so much. And uh, yeah, how much you're just enjoying the build. And a lot of you find it quite relaxing and uh, soothing watching this. And yeah, you know, it's the perfect time to do this kind of, you know, it's the calm before the storm now, before the parks reopen. Of course, on the day of this being uploaded, we are at Blackpool Pleasure Beach and the vlog will be coming out tomorrow for that one. So yes, we've got a nice Blackpool Pleasure Beach vlog. Uh, but yeah, we're getting into the park season now. Obviously, Blackpool's opening today. Um, but yeah, I'm really looking forward to um, kind of getting into the other parks, Alton Towers, Thorpe Park, so much more coming up. And of course, some more abroad trips on the way soon as well. So stay tuned for that as we get into the main season here on Theme Park Worldwide. But uh, there we go. That is all for this episode. You can see me just doing a little bit more landscaping. Lots more of that to come. Uh, but the dark ride, get your suggestions coming in. And of course, in the next episode, I'm going to be uh, completing the theming um, around this area. And hopefully um, this will be uh, complete. But uh, there we go. Thank you very much for joining me. I look forward to reading all of your names and theme suggestions for the dark ride. And that leaves me with one final thing to say. Get out there and keep on riding. See you in Wednesday's video.